Denny. 13 years old who lived some 50,000 to 90,000 years ago. Denny was a first-generation hybrid with a Denisovan father and a Neanderthal mother. One of the greatest discoveries relating to interbreeding between human species was that of a first-generation neanderthal denisovan hybrid, or an individual whose parents belonged to two distinct species of humans. They inhabited southern Siberia's Denisova cave 50,000 to 200,000 years ago. The Denisovan are the first ancient hominin species to be revealed by genes alone, not by fossil classification. While placed in the Homo genus, they have not yet been given a species classification as no physical description exists. They are named after the Denisova cave in Russia where the first fossils were found. While little is known about Denisovan, we can glean from fossil records that there are some physical differences in the appearance of these two ancient beings. For example, Denisovan have the widest and flattest skulls out of both Neanderthals and modern humans. The molars of the Denisovan were much larger than the molars of the Neanderthal and modern humans. Additionally, Denisovan had a much larger jaw and tooth setup compared to Neanderthals. While both Denisovan and Neanderthals existed during the same era, there is very little difference between these two in terms of their time on Earth. However, Neanderthals lived during the Middle to Late Pleistocene era, while Denisovan lived during the Lower and Middle Paleolithic era. Neanderthals existed for longer than Denisovan overall. Neanderthals and Denisovan inhabited Eurasia until about 40,000 years ago, when they were replaced by modern humans, Homo sapiens. But before this replacement occurred, there appears to have been a fair bit of mingling going on whenever the different groups met. Indeed, the ancestors of modern-day Oceanians and Asians contained Denisovan DNA, while present-day non-Africans contain 2-4% Neanderthal DNA. The DNA of Denny also suggests that there was some quite significant movement of Neanderthal groups between Western Europe and the East. Analysis of her DNA found that rather than being more closely related to a Neanderthal who lived in her home cave sometime prior to her birth, she instead showed more connections to those recovered in Western Europe. This finding is interesting because most archaeological evidence indicates that Neanderthals unlike modern humans were not interested in long-distance movement. They don't seem to have moved much beyond relatively constrained territories which provided everything they needed for day-to-day -day life. It also suggests that at least some major movement of ancient humans occurred between West and East. The eras in which Denisovan and Neanderthals lived differ from one another, though their time on Earth did indeed overlap. Researchers suggest that the Denisovan originated with modern humans in at least two places. In Eastern Asia, and in the Southeast in Indonesia or Australia. Furthermore, most people on the Tibetan plateau carry a piece of Denisovan DNA that helps them deal with the limited oxygen at high altitudes. This indicates that interbreeding between Homo sapiens and Denisovan allowed humans to colonize the highest plateau on Earth. But when? And how did a Neanderthal woman meet a Denisovan man? How did their respective communities interact? These are questions that now must be asked and investigated.